Yesterday, yes. right here on the record, I told you that President Obama is skipping Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia's funeral on Saturday. Now, he will make a visit to the Supreme Court on Friday, but not the funeral on Saturday. So why is the president not driving the three and one half mile drive from the White House to the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception for the funeral? President Obama may have a good reason, but we are not hearing it from the White House. The president uh, will pay uh, his respects to Justice Scalia and his service to the country uh, by uh, traveling to the Supreme Court tomorrow. Well, why, will, why wouldn't he just go to the funeral to do that? Well, as I also noted yesterday, uh, Vice President Biden, who is somebody that uh, had his own personal relationship with Justice Scalia and his family, uh, will be representing the administration at the funeral. There's so much rancor uh, in politics and partisanship that we allow ourselves to get drawn into differing, different corners to the extent that some people actually want to use the funeral of a Supreme Court justice as some sort of political cudgel. The president doesn't think that that's appropriate. And in fact, what the president thinks is appropriate is uh, respectfully paying tribute to high-profile, patriotic American citizens even when you don't agree on all the issues. The On the Record political panel is back. A.B., if he has a, gr has a good reason, maybe, I, I don't know what it is, maybe he's going off to Afghanistan on a secret trip, I, I'll back up the president. But Josh Ernst says that uh, political rancor, he talks about political rancor as possibly for a reason for people criticizing the president. The president represents the nation, and he needs to rise above the rancor and represent the nation at the funeral, unless he has a good reason. Yeah, it's, it's symbolic. He should be there. They don't have a good reason, which is why they're doing the kill the messenger thing, saying how dare you even question it. They're not going to come out and say, oh, you know, vice presidents are in charge of funerals, so poor Biden has to go. We're just going to do the short one on Friday. I mean, if there is a reason, like a secret trip, you, you know, as you said, we'd find out later. If the Scalia family didn't want him to be there, I think they should say that as well. If it's too much of a security and position, Scalia, well, okay. you, you know, he should say that as well. The point is they're not saying it. And it looks like he didn't feel that he had to go and that he didn't want to go. And he didn't see the reason that it would be important as a symbol for him to go, even if they weren't tight. Um, he talked about the smallness of our politics all the time. And to not go and, and, and show that you can respect and even revere someone with whom you disagree and you tussle and you, you know, are political adversaries with um, is a real missed opportunity. Uh, you know, and, and even like on, I mean, on Sunday, go back to having the, the different differences. Go back to you know disagreeing on, on the interpretation of the Constitution. I'm fine on Sunday, but represent the nation on Saturday, unless you have a good reason. And tell us the reason why you're not going. Yeah, I've heard some people point out that some Supreme Court justices, including some of the conservative justices, don't go to the State of the Union, haven't gone to the last few. I do think this is different. I think this is a, a moment where there's they a should chance. Go. Sure, but I think but, they I, should go. I, but I think I mean their reason for it is, has been to stay above the political fray and not be used as political props. I do think this is different. I, look, I, I'm not particularly scandalized by it. I think he's going to pay his respects. We'll kind of move on as a country. I think more it's important a diss. is to... You know what? Yeah, it's, 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 unless he has a good reason, it's a diss. And the problem is, is that it's, it's his personal decision. He does represent the nation. And I understand the different ideologies, but sometimes you, go, you rise above that political rancor, all the things that he says everybody else is petty about. And it seems small. It seems small. I think it's nice that the vice president will be there. He does have a longstanding relationship with Justice Scalia, despite a lot of political differences. But you're right. It's, it's a moment yeah, for the I president. have to say that even if Joe Biden wasn't friends with him, Joe Biden goes to funerals. He just wants to. I don't think he could stop him. Yeah. The president didn't go to Paris after the Charlie Hebdo um, attacks and, and murders, and a bunch of world leaders did. He just didn't see the reason until it was too late. And then the, you know, the team around him, they were quite sheepish about it. But but this has yeah, happened but, before. He, I don't he, think it occurs to him. I don't think he gets it. You know, that there are times like when you get out, get out of the pol political realm and represent the nation, and, and you just have to do it for an hour. Or two hours, and I don't even care if ne and next day go back and you know and, and bash the Supreme Court for its rulings. Yeah, it's a, it's not a long trip. It's not a long trip, and the symbolism here I think carries some substance. And well, I don't think he's going to change anyone's minds about his presidency by going to Scalia's funeral, but it's it, it's not necessary. Anyway, well, and and I think the White House owes it to us to tell us, um, you know, why he's not sure. going and be honest with us. But anyway, Rick, AB, thank you. Thanks, Rita.